Okay guys, this is my second night painting. Um, you can see the first night I got pretty much just the hood done and that's about it. And I did a lot of like prep, prep work there and other stuff. But I got this side of the fender sanded down. I got uh, kind of like the front lip area that's sanded down here. Um, and I put down, I think it's right now about two or three layers of um, paint, primer, I mean, but, yeah, I'm just using it as paint. This side needs done. You can see, I also got the trunk, um, partially done. It's drying right now. I think it's, I have enough coats on it. I think it's, like, I think I'm about four on this. So I think that should be good enough. So you can't see any of the, uh, rust spots or anything through it so yeah there's a little dent there that I never noticed before but I'm just gonna paint right over that all the actual body work I'll do some other time but not right now it's like really cold out today it's I think it's like 45 it's not really cold but for spray paint it is and it's supposed to be about 50 to 55 to spray paint at the minimum so I'm hoping this turns out okay. Uh, I still gotta clean up, up tonight since I'm gonna head in soon. I got a bunch of other random junk laying around. Yeah, I did all that work to clean the windshield and now it's all dirty again. I'm not sure if I talked about this in the last video, but um, I think I'm able to get this windshield off pretty easily. You can see that this just, being careful, but that just pops up and I think I can really easily get this seal out of it and then get the whole windshield out and then I'll I can paint all this stuff here I think that's it for the update right now you can see actually probably not since I don't really want to open up the hood but I got a bunch of um, this area cleaned out so I'll probably maybe do that tomorrow if it's gonna be warmer it's gonna snow on Saturday so I want to try getting it mostly done by then hopefully that'll happen not sure though but yeah that's it for right now i still have this hanging up i don't know why the paint kept on chipping off of this but it's this is dry now so i think i'm gonna hit it with a layer of clear coat and maybe that'll make it stay on a little bit better since it's a little bit flaky still so i'm gonna try that This is day three of working on the Spitfire. It's looking really nice. It's raining right now and some water is dripping on it. But, um, yeah. This side looks really nice. It turned out good. Um, it matches this nicely. Uh, this is all Bondo free. But I figured out there's Bondo, uh, right here on both sides. Let me get some sandpaper right here and show you. At least I think so. It's feels different. Whew. Yeah, that's uh, Bondo, I think, showing through here. But on this side of the hood, you can see the body line is really messed up. So I kept on trying to bend it back and it wouldn't really stay bent. But yeah, I figure out this whole area here is Bondo, um, including down here. This is Bondo down here, all the way over and then up here like this entire section is pure bondo not super thick but it's there and same with right here again on that side there's no bondo at all the trunk lid here looks really nice i forget if i showed this already or not but yeah that looks nice the hood looks nice for the most part um need to do down here still but I'm gonna I need to get more uh, rust reformer stuff since I'm out of it I ran out just uh, on the hood and on the on the trunk lid so I'll definitely need to put some under there and I'll also put some on like underneath the undercoating but yeah I'm gonna start painting this this is day three or four I forget um of painting the Spitfire. It's well I am on the ground right now. 
makes you very uncomfortable. Um, I just looked at all the rust underneath of here, which actually there is pretty much no no rust at all, like anything that concerns me. I mean, the exhaust it might need redone sometime, but everything's solid, no holes or anything through it. Um, even the fuel lines and brake lines, they look solid. Yeah, the floorboards themselves, they're really clean. Um, the rocker was pretty rusty, like just surface rust, but it's pretty much sanded down by now. Um, get under here more. On this side, you can see there's more surface rust. But, yeah, again, nothing that can't be sanded down. Right up here, there's some more surface rust on the rocker, but... Yep, nothing through the body. The original undercoating, I think that's original. Um, it's doing a good job. There is some rust along the frame rail here, but uh, it's all solid still. I think I'll do an oil change while it's up on the jack stands. Since I've got a bunch of advanced auto parts gift cards that I'm not sure what to do with. Um, yeah, the suspension, a little bit of surface rust there, but nothing too bad. Um, the rear diff looks like it's leaking a tiny bit. Uh, nothing that bad. It probably leaks less than my Jeep. But yeah, overall, it's pretty solid. I forget where I recorded my last clip, but I got all that sanded down here. Got this sanded. Got up here sanded. Got all back here sanded down. And a lot of this stuff is like just pure primer. Or not primer. Um, Bondo. It's pretty much just pure Bondo. So, um, yeah. Um, got that sanded down for the most part. I didn't go all the way to the Bondo. In a lot of this area. But, uh, yeah. Um, got that sanded there. This is sanded down. I've got undercoating sprayed in this little corner here um, I forget if I recorded it over here too but got that there got this and I ran out of undercoating for this side here but I have another can that's warming up in the sink right now with hot water since it's too cold and it doesn't really want to come out of the bottle so I'm hoping I can get all this stuff painted today I've, it's currently 4.22, I don't know what time it gets dark anymore, but sometimes soon it'll get dark. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can tonight, and I hope it doesn't rain or anything because I can't put a tarp over it. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish this up. It's a couple minutes later, and I got this side, the first coat done. I got one coat up here, and like a tiny bit down there, but yeah. A little bit here too and that can I ran out of paint in it so hopefully I'll have enough paint to do like one coat on the rest of this stuff I have one more brand new can I don't think I have any more I'll have to dig through that box I might have one more I'm not completely sure but anyway um yeah if I run out of paint then I'll need to wait for my mom or dad to get home Either that or have my friend go to Walmart with me since I'm 17 and you can't buy spray paint till you're 18. I just got it back on the ground. It's way smaller than I remember it. Um, yeah, I got this all painted up. I got about two coats on it before I ran out of the paint, but that might be good enough. I'll have to see what it looks like when it's dry. Yeah, you can see that's done. I'm not doing the doors because I'm going to be getting new doors. And I'm not doing this until I take out the windshield. Um, next time it gets warm out, I think I'm gonna, um, put down some bed liner on the floors, and also some, uh, rust converter. I also got the whole, uh, bottom of it undercoated, so, yeah, I think I did pretty good for today. So I'm gonna try to get cleaned up a little bit, and once I get cleaned up, then, yeah, I think that might be it for painting for right now.